Hello everyone, it's Kavita from Red Door Yoga. Thank you for joining me for the Red Door Yoga Mini Sutra Series online. Today I wanted to talk to you about knowing yourself. So um, really in relation to knowing yourself that I, I want to talk to you guys about is, is knowing who you are and then not making things harder on yourself by trying to ask yourself to be someone you're not. Okay. Um, so, you know, we've all heard that we need to know who we are. Yoga is the, the search for the true self. It's the search for who you are, uh, not just from the egoic viewpoint, but who you ultimately are. Um, and this is very important. Once we start to figure out who we are, we can then spend our life being integrated in our behaviors to that person. And when we are integrated with who we are, uh, we will find fulfillment, but we will also find um, our purpose in this life, okay? You are built for a purpose. And so if you work on just being you, you will actually find your place. And it's kind of awesome, actually, that way. We oftentimes make our lives a lot harder than it needs to be by trying to figure out you know, who we think we should be and then pushing ourselves towards that person instead of going, who are we? And can I actually settle into this person that I am already? Okay. So related to this, I'll give you an example for myself as to who I am. I am someone who is goal-oriented because partially of my doshic makeup. For those of you who are not familiar with that term, it's an Ayurvedic term, and Ayurveda is the science that's behind yoga. Because of my doshic makeup, because of my elemental makeup, I am a goal-oriented person. I'm also a truth seeker. That is also related to my elemental makeup, okay? And uh, before you think about elemental makeup uh, as something kind of quote-unquote frou-frou, <laughs> okay, I want you to think about this. If a hammer were made out of, uh, let's say, plastic, it would have a different purpose and behavior than if that hammer was made out of steel. Uh, it would have a different purpose and behavior than if that hammer was made out of mashed potatoes. Okay, so because I my makeup has a lot of fire in it in terms of its element, my behaviors and my purpose is different than if my um, my makeup had a lot of air in it or my makeup had a lot of earth in it, okay? That's really what we're talking about when we start to look at the dosha makeups and who we are. So who you are, who I am, uh, who each of us are is, is based on our, our dosha makeup. And uh, we start to want to look at the character traits that are natural to who we are, because that is how we are built and that is what is going to fulfill us and that is what is going to allow us to fulfill our purpose, okay? So because I am a truth seeker, I know that I will not be comfortable um, in uh, experiences and relationships where I feel like I am being dishonest in some way. It goes against who I am, okay? So as a result, if I, and, I, I, and I'm actually pulling this example out of my head based on someone else that I knew, but if I actually uh, had a job and the job that I had, I was working for people who were very dishonest and who were asking me, therefore, to be dishonest. That is not a place I need to be. That is a place that will leave me unfulfilled. It will make my life miserable um, because it will be moving against who I am. I am not a dishonest person. It's not in my makeup to be a dishonest person. Okay, so I need to leave that job. Someone else might be able to be there and be okay with it because their makeup isn't the same as mine and therefore they are not fundamentally a truth seeker, okay? Um, if I look at being goal-oriented, I it's just my nature to be goal-oriented. Everything I do needs to have a purpose behind it so that it, it kind of drives me, which means I need to be very clear on what I am trying to fulfill, what I'm trying to achieve when I'm going through my experiences. Um, where I saw that play out was, uh, I remember when I was in high school, a few years ago, okay, when I was in high school, I actually took um, calculus at one point in time. And while I was a straight A student, I struggled in calculus. And later on, as a, a yogi and as an adult who now understood who she was, I realized very plainly why I struggled so much in calculus. I struggled in calculus because I didn't know the purpose of calculus and therefore I didn't know the goal that the work we were doing was meant to achieve. 
And if I don't have a goal, I, I, I don't know how to hone my focus and my energy. And therefore, I do not know how to hone my understanding. Okay? And that became obvious to me as I went along. As a result, as an adult who knows herself well, I'm very curious to take calculus again. Because the first thing I would do is I would chat with my teacher and I would say, I need you to explain the purpose, the goal of calculus. And if you can explain the goal, the purpose of calculus, knowing how who I am and therefore how I function, my capability to understand will suddenly ramp up. Now the work will make sense. Now it will kind of fall in place within my brain. And I'll be able to get far and fast with calculus. Okay, And I'm using that as an example. So if I use a little bit... Uh, of a, a, an easier example to look at. I run a mentorship. Some of you are mentees, and it's always a pleasure to have you, okay, in here with us. But um, some of you may not be aware of it. So I run a mentorship, a self-mastery mentorship, and you can find that at themasterfulpath.com. And in the mentorship, I give my mentees weekly lessons. And when I give them these lessons, these lessons, I provide them in three formats. So I provide them in a video format, the way I'm chatting with you guys right now with, with, with the Mini Sutra, so they're short videos. I also provide that exact same lesson in a text format. I also provide that exact same lesson in an audio file format. It's the same lesson, but there's video, there's text, there's audio. And that's because I want each person to know who they are and how they learn. And if they learn well with video, great. Use the video. If they learn well with text, read the text. If they learn well, you know, for, from audio, from listening, use the audio files, okay? I'm not asking them to fit into how I work. I'm asking them to fit into how they work. I'm asking them to be themselves. And therefore, through being themselves, they will become the best version of themselves. So I use that as an example because what I want to say to you guys is if, for example, you are visually inclined, so videos work for you, and you've been given three options, don't spend all of your time when you're trying to learn new material going to the audio file or going to the text file. Don't make things harder on yourself by asking yourself to be someone you're not. Understand what your strengths are, understand what your weaknesses are, and work with yourself as you are, and develop yourself from that place, especially when you are trying to change aspects, behaviors, um, intellectual parameters that you currently have, okay? Do it from a grounded place of knowing who you are and functioning from there, all right? Don't try to be someone you're not. You as you are have incredible potential. And all you need to do is step into it. Okay. I hope that was helpful, everyone. I look forward to seeing you as always online. Um, if you've got questions, comments, please put them in the comment section. Like the video, share them with others. We love when you share the video because it allows us to expand the community that receives yoga philosophy and self-mastery work. Okay. Thanks, everyone, and I look forward to seeing you again online very, very soon. Namaste.